Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. So last episode, we came back to the Winding Rivulet. Have not exactly had a, a lot of progress with things. I do admit there's still a lot to try out with the, uh... Good lord, some weird sound effects, but... Uh, the bottom feeding stuff is still working pretty well and fine. I'm going to try it in, like, the river part of the rivulet and see how it operates. But the spinning, I'm still not having much luck with it. Yeah, so put you down there. That's all prepped there. Uh, I guess I'll try going for this one and see... Yeah, we'll just try this for a while and see what happens. As yeah, I don't really know what else I could be doing to try improving the odds of our spin casting, or like spin fishing. So far, it seems like there's not really been much that has been happening at all. Like, I don't even think we've had a single fish hit all last episode trying. So I don't know if it's just, like, really bad luck on my part, it's heavily dependent on the hot spots, or what's going on. Because at this rate, I don't know if we'll even be able to, like, actually get the, uh, be able to use some of the lures I bought from that kit. <laughs> well, I, oh, there we go. Nice, looks like we got a couple of things coming in here. Okay, we'll just let it slowly come in. Is that a gibble carp? No, it's an eyed. Okay, well, we'll keep that. So, we finally got a fish off of the uh, spin casting rod. It just took an entire episode. But maybe that was my problem, is... Um... You know what? I kind of want to... Okay, so there still does have a little bit that it can go. Maybe my problem was just trying to cast and work off of the area right around the hub. It isn't really the best spot. You know what? I kind of want... Okay, I'll bring this in and then I'll pick up the... Yeah, that rod is definitely showing that there's something to it. Okay, you know what? Let me speed up the retrieval and bring it right back in. Oh! Wow! Okay, I wasn't even trying to catch something on that retrieval, but I'll take it. Yeah, I see you freaking out, so let's get, bring you in. Okay, there we go. It's nice to start seeing some things actually coming in off of the uh, spinning rod. And what do we got here? Tiny whatever it is. I wonder if this is like another rough or something else. Oh! A little bitty white bream. Okay, new longest cast. There we go. Yeah, so what we're going to do... I did talk a little bit about it last episode about like... At level 11 you can get something really help, really potent or helpful. And we're going to try to work our experience bar up as high as we can get it towards the, uh... You know, maybe I'll set my re retrieval speed up a little bit more. I don't know if that actually would impact it, but maybe we'll just try to keep it at 20 and see what happens. But, uh, if we can get to level 11 while we're spin casting... There could be a chance for a really helpful bit of reward on hitting that. Uh, to do. I guess we'll try casting way up there. And just see what happens, if anything. It might be I even have to just, like, keep experimenting, too. Maybe for spin casting, it's more important to find hot spots than... 
uh, for the float and the bottom feeder kit. Yeah, you're flipping out a little bit, but... Okay, you're steady. Let's see what we got. And then I think I'll try moving down a little bit more because we did land something with, or well, a couple of things with spin casting. Uh, maybe a perch. Yeah, just a little perch. Okay. Uh, maybe I should try going a little bit more this way and getting that bottom fishing into the really deep water there. Okay, so, I mean, the best spot would be right there, would be my guess. But I think I can still get towards it from right here. And then I'm also wonder if maybe I'm also playing a little bit too cautious with, like, where I've been trying to spin cast. Maybe I should be going more... Oh! Never mind. I was saying, maybe I should be a little bit more trying to get, like, towards the reeds and stuff. Or, like, the patches of, like, foliage where the fish might hide. There's a nice little perch. L-tackle plus... Okay, what does L-tackle mean? Oh, light gear! Okay, I didn't realize that. Well, that's handy. So that is interesting. If you do want to get your experience going up quicker, there are certain tackles that will let you do it. Oh, nice. Oh, I, yeah, it got off. Uh, we'll still bring it right back in. Maybe I will lower the retrieval speed back down to 18, because I think the reason why that fish got off... There we go. I still hate the mouse wheel on this mouse. It worked fine for a while, but then all of a sudden it starts, like, jumping, and every time I scroll down, it, like, seems almost to want to go up instead. Yeah, it's good to see there's action there. Okay, a line of slack, so that makes me think that there's something definitely on that. Oh, definitely on there. I can see the line moving. Okay, let's put you away. And start bringing in whatever this is. Ooh. Good amount of tension to the line. So what do we got? Okay, it's not quite going into... Uh, maybe another Eid? It's not a Gibble Carp, but it kind of reminds me of the Eid we caught last episode from, like, no, it's just a big fat roach. We'll take it. Yeah, let me try over this way. I feel like I'm asking for a, a snag. But I gotta try changing something up. There we go. Now that I know how I can circumvent snags, I think I'd be a little bit more foolhardy in where I cast out towards. It might just be another little perch, but you know what? I'll take it. It's still another fish landed. Whee! And there's you freaking out. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, right through all the weeds and that, but doesn't look like anything got it. Well, a weed didn't either, so that's really good. Let me try up this way. Yeah, maybe that's my big problem with uh, how I've been spin fishing is I gotta really go trying to scout and find a good spot with fish. Ooh. You're playing around a bit, but so far nothing like super definitive. Okay. Actually, basically perfect timing. So now let's bring you in and see what we got. Come on, what do we got? Uh, decent tension, but I don't think it's anything too large. Uh, might be another roach. Yeah, another common roach. Okay. Uh, there's another area with a lot of deep water. Let me just try working a little bit further down. You know what? This might not be a bad spot. It does actually have, like, a dock for it. Oxbow Lake. That seems like a decent enough spot there. That's good there. And you know what? Let me try the Aquila again. See if maybe it was just location that was kind of making it a little difficult for me. And yeah, retrieval speeds at a decent amount. I'm just gotta try and see what happens. I feel like I want to spend a little bit more time on Winding Rivulet, Light, just because I can't even think of how long... Of Ooh, there we go. Another little perch. Qualifies for classic spinning. Okay, just catch seven different... or seven different fish with seven different lures. But I was going to say, uh... I'm not even sure how long of a streak I was on Mosquito Lake for once I did, like, start focusing with the bottom fishing kit and that. Probably at least, like, five or six weeks. So yeah, I'll spend more time on Winding Rivulet. We might not get a lot of orders done because of, like, just slowly trying to sort out the spin fishing stuff for that, but at least we'll still be able to land a few fish, get our experience up, and see how it goes along. Oh, well, thank you for taking it right at the end there. That makes this a lot easier. I wonder if I should... Uh, I'm kind of tempted to keep working with, like, some... 9.8 is a little at the high end. Let me try the old spinner lure. Just see if I can try working us towards getting the challenge. Because I don't know if that would give us, like, a bonus bit of XP for... completing it or not. I'm actually not sure what the challenges really do. But it is nice just to start seeing fish striking a little bit more regularly. Come on in, you. Yeah, there's another one done. So I need, what, four other different ones. Okay, we'll keep that. Uh, I guess we'll try this one. I think this is a perch hot spot. For the first time in quite a while, the bottom fishing rod's actually really silent. I don't think I've actually heard it jingle once since we started here. Um, Speaking of, maybe on this retrieval, I'll just make sure that I do have it tight. <laughs> Oh, 
Actually, I also might have to check and see if I still have ground bait on there, too. I know with how much it was getting hit, I might have actually gone through a fair bit of the ground baits I had on it. Yeah, that is as it's supposed to. Okay. Oh, now it's going off. There we go. Wonder what we got on. Looks like not a perch. I think it's a roach. No, it's actually an eye. Okay. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, just need to find three more. Uh, do I think I haven't used this one yet? So yeah, maybe that's been my problem with doing the spin casting, is I haven't been trying to scout locations far more. Oh yeah, I think that's definitely it. Now we're getting much more regularly. A uh, little perch. Yeah. And that just needs two more. So I think I can actually use uh, the spin shot again. Because I don't think this one is registered as being one of the ones for the challenges. I think they only get unlocked once you hit level 10. Actually, I almost... I think I should also try reeling in the uh, bottom fishing rod. It's just been quiet for... S <laughs> okay, there's... The, that's what I was waiting for. Something that kind of tells me... Okay, yeah, there's definitely something going on with it. And there we go. Ooh. That actually looks like a bit more of a sizable perch to it. What do we got? Eh, not too shabby for sizing. And let's bring you in. Okay, so I still have four more portions of the ground bait that I'll be able to use. So we're not used up quite yet. Getting close, though. And are you a bream? It looks like you're kind of a more darker body fish. Are you a roach? Okay, it's... I've seen the dark stripe on top. Oh, new longest cast. There we go. And just need... I think this one will count as a new one. There we go. Nope. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there was something there for a moment. And now I'm trying to think of what all the symbols on the very bottom mean. I th the line one, I think, is like how much of your spool is left, or has been cast out. Or no, it's how much line is left on your spool, or your reel, that's right. Uh, the fire with the little symbol around it, I guess, is like how hot your line is getting, like when it's under tension, that might move up a bit, or is a warning. I don't know what the hook with the little bit underneath it means. I don't know if that's like maybe the snag alert? I know the kilogram for weight is like uh, too heavy of a thing attached to the end of the line. No, I think the snag one is the very last one on the right. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments about it all. Yeah, there is a little bit of systems to definitely go through and understand for getting... Ooh. I can do that. I need to remember that. <laughs> there are some systems in that to get 
familiar with for the game for sure. And it's definitely something you'll want to tackle it just little chunk by chunk. I think it's a bit too much to try going through all at once. Okay, what do we got? Uh, another Eid, I think? Or maybe a Roach. Or a Chub. It's a Chub. There we go. And yeah, we have time to cast this in once more. And see about bringing this in. Let's try and see if I can get one last fish for the challenge for whatever it means. And then we'll take everything back and see if there's anything to complete. As much as there might not be any orders to do, because of the size of a few of the fish we landed, we might still get a little bit of a payout or profit back. Well, maybe not profit back, but we won't be out too much. I can make up some of the money I spent for the, uh, all the spinning lures. Not that I can use most of them. <laughs> Although, I should check and see how we're doing for progress there. Because we might be getting close to being able to try using spoons. I just gotta see what else we can get. Although now it might be the fish aren't quite as interested. Yeah, we'll turn the flashlight on just because it is getting darker. And let's cast way out there. There we go. Ooh, we got a bit of weight on this one. Okay, what do we got coming in? Is it a perch? No, I don't think it's a perch. It looks too slim for it. It might be a roach or an eye. Maybe even a chub. I think that's a roach. Oh, a chub. And task completed for classic spinning. Catch three types of fish. And caught that. So I don't know... Again, I don't exactly know what those count towards, but we're at 11% spin fishing. So I think it's 15 I need to be able to start using the, uh, the spoons, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, none of those I feel like are super necessary, so I won't worry about them. Wait, I can use a plastic bait casting wheel for spin fishing, really? And jigging needs 25, so yeah, that'll probably be one of the skill points I'll definitely pick up. Uh, float fishing. I don't think... Yeah, I don't see the need for a luminous float, so I can just leave that. Bottom fishing. Pattern Nostra rig. I don't even know what that is, but that's going to be a while off. I think we're okay with where we are right now. I mean, it would be nice to be able to get to here, but with only at 1% for the ground baits, it's... Whew. Actually, that might not be bad to pick up, because I am bottom fishing. You know what? I am going to do that. Oh, do I keep going up, or do I just leave as is? I haven't spent any money yet, or any of the skill points yet, so I'm just going to go for two. Because I know I'm going to be using the ground baits quite a bit more for, like, well, this rod is definitely a reason to. And we'll just give it a moment, see... If anything hits before we end off or not. Nope, there we go. Okay, let's bring him in. Fair bit of attention to the line. What do we got? Uh, looks like a roach. Real yawning. Yeah, common roach. Okay. 
put that away. I'll have to remember to make more ground bait next episode, but let's go and see about the cafe and the market. Again, I don't really think I've gotten any of the orders fulfilled. But given the size we got for some of the Gibble Carp, it would actually probably be a loss to try to fulfill that order. So we did manage to land 23 fish this weekend. Not a bad amount, but I think my highest is like 28. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, do do. Yeah, see, no, that's not worth it. This one actually probably would. Ah, uh, only 50. Hmm. Okay, it's 838 for the four there. But what would they be in the market? Okay, it would be worth it to hand in that order. That's one thing I gotta check, is making sure it's actually worth it to do some of these orders. Yeah, the Gibble. So that would be... To do, do. That's 650 for them. And if I do here for them... That's 792, so it'd be better to sell them here. And I don't think I have anything else for any of the orders. I... Surprisingly, didn't even get a single Crucian. Uh, no Frog, no Muscle, no Sleepers, no Bleaks. I got some Chubs, but nowhere near the size. Yeah, it looks like the rest will just be sold off here. Now they go for. Actually, that's not too bad. Almost up for being able to afford another kit. <laughs> so yeah, not a terrible time off, or not a terrible time fishing. And I think I'm learning a little bit more about this spin fishing. It's heavily, heavily dependent upon uh, location more so. But we're good to wrap this episode of Russian Fishing 4 up right here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.